Hey, I'm Peach PRC, and I covered Every Time We Touch by Cascader for Like A Version. I, still hear your voice when you... I chose to cover Every Time We Touch because it's just such an iconic, like, electro dance pop song. Like, it's so my vibe, and I think she was so ahead of her time with that. And I didn't actually know that that song was already a cover, but um, I love what she did with it. <laughs> and I wanted to do something in my own way, and have my signature sort of vocoder in there and some little like hyper pop elements, but also keep it kind of like Disney, early Jonas Brothers rock. I don't remember when I first heard the song, but I know that I used to have it in my playlist when I was a stripper. Like the DJ used to have it on my, like we have a set like number of songs and the club would just go absolutely feral anytime that song was put on. It could be like five people in there and they'd be up and dance. Like five old men would be like, every time we touch, like they just love it. So it's such an anthemic like song. So I just thought it'd be perfect for, and I've been dying to cover this for so long. Like I've been trying to beg my team to let me put it in my set, but we've been saving it for something special. So I'm glad I got to do it today. I am obsessed with the key change that I did in the song. I, I've been dying to do a key change in a song for so long and I had to also beg the producer, I'm like, can we have any key change in there? And he's like, it's, it's gonna be hard, but let's do it. And so then I had to like, figure out a way to transition into a different key and like the, the whole band has to do a different key. It's like, it's actually pretty tricky, but it was so much fun. I love, I, that feels very like retro 2000s to me to do a key change in a song. When I first started live, I got thrown in the deep end because I, it was like during COVID where I'd kind of had this fan base. And then when I started singing live, it was like there was people that had flown in to see me and it was like a whole like crowd of pink and I was so overwhelmed. I had backup dancers, I had in-ears and it was like, it wasn't like I'd just been able to sit in a pub and like practice, it was just thrown right in the deep end and I was so nervous and I got so drunk and I was so sloppy. I forgot all the dance moves, I forgot the words and it was just terrible. And But everybody was so sweet about it, like they had so much fun but I went home and like bawled my eyes out and then, um, and I was like, I never want to perform live ever again. I'm just going to lip sync, like I don't want to do this. But now it's so much fun to me. And like, I think letting go of the fear of just having a note or two wrong and stop trying to be so pitch perfect. I can just have fun and people just enjoy the vibe of live music. It's pretty surreal to be performing on like a version today. Like I feel like, I don't know, every day there's another out of body experience for me right now and this is one of them. Like I've I've obviously watched them for years and like had and and seen so many huge stars do things like this. So like it feels pretty crazy to be in the same spot as like some of my favorite idols. Yeah. I loved Mona's cover of My Heart Will Go On. I think they did that so beautifully. I was listening in the car actually on the way over because I was trying to like Get a vibe and I saw that they did one I was like oh my god I love Muna so I listened and I was like wow it really again sounded like a song that they would have done and I liked that they sort of picked up the pace a bit and made it like fun and and more in their elements so yeah just give a shout out to Muna for that one. A surreal experience was definitely Paris Hilton like recognizing me and and acknowledging the um, interpolation I did of her song like I never wasn't like I spoke to her first about it or anything it was kind of like just meant to be for my girlfriend and this little thing that I didn't think was ever gonna be released. And um, and she she asked to hear the full song before it was out and like really loved it. And then she went and listened to all my other music and sent me a really sweet message saying that she she was a fan of Josh and God is a freak. And she's like, I love all the pink. And like, she's been so kind to me and so sweet. So that's just like, <laughs> like so bizarre and surreal to me that like someone like her, like goes out of her way to be so kind and supportive of me and my music. I had so much fun today doing this. I, I think the experience was like something so new for me and something really like, I've never performed with so many musicians like around me, so it was a little bit different, but I, yeah, I hope it comes through that people saw that I was enjoying myself as much as it maybe didn't look like it. <laughs>